Compliance is an option, but it's not always foolproof. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Houston, Texas in the United States. Here we see an armed robbery that doesn't really have a whole lot of good outcomes. We immediately see the first guy with a long gun. Next, two guys with handguns come in and barge in past the door where we'd expect people to be, right? There's employees back in here. You can see the one that's staying by the door as well. While the other two come in here, again, long gun and handgun in hand, and start threatening employees. They start coming up and going, hey, wait a minute, like, you know, pointing guns at them and looking around for where the cash is and whatever. Now, we can't see what ends up happening off camera here, but we do see this employee come up, hands raised, totally compliant, right? And of course, got guns in his face. So uh, whether it was the shotgun or now the guy with the handgun, he's like, hey man, whatever I can get you, that's fine. Now we see the guy with the shotgun come up and there is a, a female employee that he's pointing the gun at and she's gonna raise the hands as well. Hey, no problems, man, whatever I can give you, that's fine. Now they're gonna get in here and they want the guy to put the money in the backpack. Okay, no big deal, no problem. They're gonna put the money in the backpack for the guy and everything's okay until the one guy decides he's angry at the man uh, and that was the PD that did that zoom right there. Nothing I could do about that. Knock him over and we can see it again from the other angle and knock him over and thankfully the three guys run off and that's where this one ends. Boy, that one could have gone a lot worse. I'm glad nothing worse happened. Out of this video, I have a poll question for you. Do you think in situations like this that just taking a bonk on the head with a gun like that is a positive outcome as exists? Let me know if you think that it would have been better for him to resist or if this was the best possible outcome. Me personally, I think sometimes you're stuck in a Kobayashi Maru and you just got to do what you do and he did the best he could in the moment. Out of this particular one, I want to talk about compliance being an option, but at the same time, I want to talk about the dangers of compliance and the dangers of multiple attackers. So let's think as these three guys come in, sometimes you just can't draw from the drop like this. You got three guys with firearms, one of whom is at the door, which we can see right here. So in these kind of instances, you know, people might have a, this idea that they might be able to have this crazy gunfight with these guys, but coming in with long gun raised, guns on you, there's nothing you're gonna do in that moment, friends. Uh, you have to wait your turn in an armed robbery. That's one of our big principles. You must wait your turn in an armed robbery. And when someone is paying attention to you, that is not the time to do that. So the compliance here is absolutely the best strategy. Just comply and give him what he wants. You don't have really any other options here in this moment. But if you're paying attention, you might actually get opportunities in an armed robbery and that's what these folks might have been able to do. But again, this female employee, guy's pointing a long gun at her. Nope, I don't know what's going on there unless I can definitely tell that it's a fake or something. Just go ahead and go. But now the female employee here, not the male employee, he is actually being paid attention to, but the female, notice nobody's paying attention to her in that moment. If she was armed and wanted to launch a counter ambush, this would have been an acceptable time to do it. Gun's not on her, attention's not on her. That could have been her turn right there. Because she doesn't have a firearm on her or whatever, compliance is a fine strategy. So, you know, you notice here she gets a little bit closer and then backs away. And once again, neither guy's paying attention to her. Everyone's attention is otherwise occupied, would have been a fine opportunity to, uh, uh, you know, against multiple attackers launch a counter ambush, but she doesn't have the attitude, the skills, or the plan to do so, and that's okay. Now, I do want to pay attention here and realize the fact that this guy was fully compliant, gave him everything they wanted, and still was bashed in the head. I don't think he was hit in the head with the gun, but I do think he was hit in the head with a hand. I, the reason I don't think it was with the gun is you can see the gun's actually pointed outside at one of the accomplices, which is awesome. But my point is, is that compliance can be a strategy, but it is not a foolproof strategy to keep you from being harmed. This man was still hurt. Thankfully, he wasn't shot and he wasn't hurt worse. But we do see the fact that compliance can be an effective strategy. We see it work on camera on a regular basis, but it's not a foolproof strategy. So you gotta recognize that. And for me and for mine, I would rather take my chances looking for an opportunity than I would just putting myself in the hands of a convicted or an armed felon here in this particular case. So folks, let's make sure that we understand against armed attackers. Every time that we get an extra attacker, it goes up uh, difficulty by an order of magnitude, that you gotta wait your turn in an armed robbery, that compliance is an option, but it's not a foolproof one. So you gotta be ready to cover your ASP. 